Hey guys, this is Haley from ModernRabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be doing a bunny room tour for you guys since I haven't done one in a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So when you walk into the room, this is kind of what you see. It just, this is the overview of everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on the right side here and then just work our way around, I guess. So over here we have this really, really cute new little Toki house that I sell on my online shop, oneownerabbits.com. And this is the castle version. So this is just a little tunnel thing that I got from Chewy.com. Um, not a huge fan of it, but it kind of fits perfectly in this opening, so I just stuck it there. Then I have the small hide-and-seek mat for the bunnies. I don't know why, but I thought it was cute sitting here like it's a little grass outside of the castle. I know, kind of weird, but whatever. And then back here, I don't really have anything. This is just my uh, closet <laughs> and some rugs. Uh, these rugs are from Ikea, but I've talked about them a lot. So then to the left of that, we have this little divider. I just put this here because otherwise the bunnies like to like pee right next to the litter box otherwise, so this way they can't do that. Uh, so I've got a corner litter box and then two big litter boxes. Uh, in the back here we have my hay boxes, which if you guys have ever wanted one of these, we are actually starting to sell them on my online shop. Uh, they are going to be a more expensive item just because they are handmade. Uh, these are not the identical ones that we're selling. Um, they're the same size and everything, but the ones you guys would get would get my one on rabbits logo on it. And then there's three panels of wood in the front instead of two. Uh, but I have pictures and everything on my online shop. I love them, I've used them for years. I have three of them because that way I only have to fill up the hay once a week. Yes, my rabbits really do go through that much hay in a week. Um, they can eat about all three of them in a week, so I like to fill them all up. So that way I don't have to fill it up multiple times a week. But, you know, you could just fill it up multiple times a week. Anyways, um, after the litter boxes we just have this maze haven. This is the large size. I don't have this on my shop yet, but I plan on adding it very, very soon. As you can see, mine is already destroyed. I've had this for quite a while now, so I do need to get a new one of that. But that'll be in the future. Over to the left we have their water dish. And then this is another Toki house that is the house with the garage. This one is super, super adorable. Uh, I also have the large hide and seek mat outside of this house. Oh, Sterling is in his little castle. <laughs> So people were wondering on my Instagram like how big these were. I would say if you have a bunny any bigger than Sterling, probably won't fit in that one especially. Sterling is a very tight fit in this house. This one is slightly bigger, so you might be able to get away with a slightly larger rabbit, but Sterling is six pounds and he is a tight fit in both of these houses. So I would say six pounds is kind of the limit. If your rabbit's bigger than that, maybe try a different house like the mini haven or something. Uh, but yeah, this one's super cute. It has a little garage and then it has a little door that goes into the house and then they can go up on here. So that's super cool. Uh, and then to the right, we just have their ramp that goes up to their shelf. So then on their shelf, I don't have anything much. I do plan on replacing this with the willow teepees. I believe I ordered some, but I don't remember for sure. So, but for now I just have their tunnel haven on here. Underneath that I do have a ceramic tile because Sterling gets very hot in the summer. Even though I keep my house at 72 degrees, he is very hot all the time. So we just have a pile of, this is the willow bundle that I sell in my shop, but it is no longer a bundle because the bunnies chewed the bundle part apart. And so now I just have a bunch of willow sticks. So that's down there. Uh, then I just have these extra large seagrass mats that are on top of memory foam mats. Whoa, there we go. So there's memory foam mats under there. And then I have the seagrass mat on top just for uh, added um, softness. These are really great for rabbits with sore hawks, especially if your rabbit is a chewer and can't handle like fleas. Uh, so I really like that. Then. Over on this side, I do have a couple of toys in there, but mainly it's just empty. Uh, I've got two of these mats. I don't know if I said that. There's one, two. And then there is the second ramp that leads up to the corner shelf. And I really like how this turned out. I have another extra large seagrass mat on top of 
fleece and a memory foam mat just because my bunnies sometimes like to chew fleece underneath their hidey houses so I like to put these on top just to protect it uh, so I've got the mini haven up here so I have both sides side by side and then I have the doors cut out let me see if I can show you right there so they like line up with each other so they can jump from each little house and then these are the entryway doors uh, and then I have another door over on this side so then I have a double woven seagrass mat right here which is a little bit chewed up but it's still in pretty good condition and then I just have a mini willow ring then we just have a random toy here my bunnies haven't ever really played with it but I have it in here uh, this is the apple stick bundle from Oxbow that I just started selling on my shop. I just put this in here today, so it's like basically brand new. So if you guys are interested in an apple stick bundle, I have that as well as the willow stick bundle on my shop. So then I have the Oxbow Timothy mat uh, in here, just in this corner. This used to be in their playtime area, so it's almost like brand new, just because they don't tend to destroy things if it's in their playtime area. So now that I stuck it in here, it might get destroyed, but Sterling loves these things, so I want him to have a chance to have it. So yeah, that is the little corner shelf. I really like how that turned out. I think it's gonna be really nice for them to sleep in because my bunnies love sleeping up on this shelf. Yeah, anyways, that's basically the room tour. It's kind of everything that I have in it. I hope to be making updates, you know, in the future, but Sterling? Shadow, stop bothering Sterling. I didn't even know you were out there. <laughs> Anyways, so that's basically it for this room tour. Don't forget to check out the Toki houses on my shop if you guys are interested. Uh, and Sterling is really interested in all the changes I just made. What do you think, doodles? Yeah, you gonna show him how you go in your house? No? Yeah? I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, that's basically the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to check out my shop if you like any of these products. Oh, there he goes. Staring! Hi, dude. So you can see he fits in this one pretty well, but if he was any bigger, I don't know how well he'd fit. Hi, dude. You're so cute. And for those of you guys wondering, this is <laughs> Ebony and she is looking a little crazy because she's shedding right now and we need to brush her. But she's just chilling in her litter box, eating some hay. Yeah, I'm your baby. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below and check out my shop. It'll be posted in the iCard as well in the, as in the description below. Sterling is just eating his hide and seek map because you know, that's his favorite activity. <laughs> so I'll see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.